So without further ado, uh, sit back, uh, relax, and enjoy the show. Christmas. When people think of Christmas, most think of parties, fun, and beer, shopping, and cheer. But really, what is Christmas all about? It is about a royal birth of the greatest king who comes to serve. His birth is foretold long ago by many many prophets of old, that one day God himself will come down and he will give up his heavenly crown. And so, 2,000 years ago, a young virgin Mary is engaged to Joseph to be married. But an angel comes to her and says, God the Father sees it fit that through the Holy Spirit you will bear God's Son. God's chosen, precious Son. His name will be Jesus, the angel says, and for the sin of all mankind he will pay. He will come as a humble little baby, and one day this king will die for humanity. Love incarnate, love divine Star and angels gave the shine Bow to babe on bended knee The Savior of humanity Unto us a child is born He shall reign forevermore No
You may have heard the story told before, but have you ever stopped to think about it more? The great shock for Joseph to hear that Mary is now pregnant, this woman he loves. Yet the angel says to Joseph, Do not fear, for this baby king has a mission to serve. Nine months on, the time comes for Jesus to be born. Joseph and Mary arrive in Bethlehem, and there God's precious son is born to men. Right from the time of Jesus' birth, we see contrasting responses to this baby's worth. The lowly shepherds and the foreign wise men came to worship this king at hand. But the jealous and troubled Herod the king is afraid that this baby may one day overthrow him. He orders that all male children in Bethlehem be killed, just so he can continue to be the ruler still. But God's plan can never go wrong, for Jesus is God's chosen king. He grows up and becomes strong. He is filled with wisdom and never does wrong. He performs miracles and teaches God's word. He lives solely for God's plan and purposes. He knows he is mankind's only way to God. And for sinful men, he had to die. The teachers and Pharisees are not pleased. They say that Jesus disturbs their peace. They say, we hate the way he claims to be God. This Jesus is nothing but a fraud. They put on him a crown of thorns and hang him on a rugged cross. There, 
Jesus dies for sinful men in God's wisdom and according to plan. Savior, I come, quiet my soul, remember, redemption's hill, where your blood was spilled. Jesus gives his life for sinful men. Yet, three days later, according to plan, he victoriously rises from the dead, for the great debt of sin has been paid. For God loves the world so much that he gives his one and only Son, so that whoever believes in him shall not die, but forever in him have eternal life.